Welcome to Fractions. We're going to start looking at fractions in this, in this next series of clips. What is a fraction? A fraction is part of a whole. So, one half, one fourth, a third. There are a variety of ways to represent fractions with your students. In this clip, I'm going to show you how to use an area model. What is an area model? It's an area of space that you designate as one whole. This is my area model. It's a circle, or a fraction circle. You've probably seen them in the classroom. They're made from semi-transparent plastic, so students can see the proportional relationship between fractional parts. You can use anything, a geoboard, a pizza or a pie, and even tangrams to represent fractions using an area model. All right, so here's my one whole, a whole circle. Imagine that it's an apple pie, and I have a friend who wants to share it with me. I'm going to have to divide it into two equal pieces, like this. Now I have one half and one half. It is written like this, one half, or one over two. Why is it written like this? Explaining this to your students will help them to understand fractional notation in a breeze. This one represents our one-half, and the two underneath is the total number of parts into which we've divided the circle. So, we have one out of two. One part out of two. Let's try another fraction. Now I have three friends. Let's divide the pie into three equal parts. What part of the total pie does this one-third represent? Well, it's one-third. It is one out of a total of three parts. All right, four friends, four equal parts. What fraction of the whole is this? It is one-fourth, or one out of a total of four. Let's try another. I've got five friends. What fraction of the whole is this? It is one-fifth of a whole, one out of a total of five parts. Six friends, six equal pieces. What fraction of the whole is this? This piece represents one-sixth. One-sixth of a whole. Last one. I've got eight friends. Eight equal pieces in this whole. What fraction of the whole is this piece? This piece represents one-eighth. So we've looked at a variety of fractional parts in this clip. Now let's touch on benchmark numbers in fractions. What are they? Well, zero, one-half, and one whole. Well, why do we bother with them? Well, getting comfortable with benchmark numbers will help your students to develop their estimation skills with respect to fractional size. For example, you can ask, is one-third greater or less than one half. If they are comfortable with the mental image of one half or the concept of one half, they will quickly reach the correct answer. If not, you can overlay one third and one half on your area model to give them a visual like this. That way they can see that one third, which we have in green, is less than one half, which is in blue. You should do exercises like this regularly when teaching fractions at any grade level.